What's going on, everybody? We're going to start off the week with some scams and fake autos on Macari yet again. This was brought to me by another subscriber. I'll do a little bit of uh, digging into because what he sent me was really good and in-depth. But I wanted to make sure we had all the facts in there and everything. This stuff's being really, really getting more sophisticated in the way out there. Unless you know your player's auto, this stuff's going to start getting harder and harder to tell. So let's pull this stuff up. Boom, there we go. All right, this is on Macari. Being sold by, I think it was, yeah, Fort Knox Cards. What do you know? Somewhere close to me. And when I looked at it, it was out of New Albany, Indiana. All right, so as we can see here, I'm going to do this. This. There's the card. Let's go to the back of it. This is how we're going to picture this stuff out. 101, Scion, Plate, Legends of the Fall. We're talking Don Russ football, right? Boom! Guess what? Same card right here. Sold on eBay. But notice between Scion, or Scion Plate and 101, there's nothing uh, etched in there. We go back here. Hey, this autograph is guaranteed by Panini America Incorporated. The font, to me, did not look right onto this to match what else is on this card. So I started doing a little digging into onto it. We all know printing plates have identifying scratches and blemishes onto it. So let's start off with the real one right here. As you guys can see, now they took really good pictures of this, so it's not really sticking out real well. But if you see where my mouse is, it's kind of like in the middle here of the card. So where it start at the bottom? Look in the middle. There's a line that goes up, goes through the end in Panini, through the bottom of the slash of 101. Almost touches the N in Scion and is touching the O in of in Legends of the Fall, right? You can see that line here going the whole way up. Now, if you look to the right, there's faintly, you probably might have to actually pull this up on Macari to the right of it. There's a uh, line going at a 45 degree angle from the bottom out. And if you see it goes through the T and C and patches, goes through the I and Panini. What do you know? It's actually supposed to go the whole way up the card, but like I said, it's hard to tell this stuff. But it's there. If you start putting scratch marks and stuff together on plates, you're going to figure this out quickly. You're going to say, now, how did they get that? lettering right in there on there well if you think about it we moved in a couple years ago from being able to just use ink printers to the laser stuff and if you think about your shipping labels some people still use the old ink like me then some people went out and bought those laser printers that you know last forever and ever and ever well they actually have machines that could do this like this it's not hard to do the issue being is the font for one onto it, and two, we already pulled the real card off. It's the same exact thing. There was no autograph onto it. Well, then you say, how did he get the sticker on here that shows Panini? Blow it up. There we go. You guys see Panini sticker. Well, guys, they're starting to take the stickers off of other cards that aren't worth anything and cleaning it off and racing over autos. You would really have to know Aaron Rodgers' signature to even call this. And you'd have to really know where he presses in at and starts and does all of his uh, marks and stuff to where he lets off on the ink pen to really figure it out. You can tell by the, the blurbs or the heavy dotting on here. With that being said, if you sent this in to anywhere, it'd be great for an auto. It's going to come back not real. It's not a real car. Not, it's somebody just altered a regular printing plate of Aaron Rodgers. So well, now we have to be more careful what we buy out here, of course, because there's a lot of fakes. Now we're going to go to the dude's account here. Oh, i got to back way out of the Zoom. So let's take a look. at. He has 109 items listed with 12 cells. So there means there's some of this stuff out here is fake. Not saying every card on here 
is wrong because you got some PSA stuff on here, SGC. So with that being said, look, Magic Auto printing plate, is it real? You'd have to do a whole lot of investigating. Same with Dwayne Wade, Vince Carter, Clay Thompson, but the names are there. So what was brought up to the other subscriber to me, or by the subscriber to me, not the other subscriber, there's only one person brought this up to me, was this Patrick Mahomes auto from Dominator. And I was like, all right, Panini sticker and all that. And I just happened to look because he sent me a couple different pictures. I'm like, wait a minute, this is a Dominator's insert card? I'm almost positive all Mahomes stuff is serial numbered right now. And it's, you can't fake a serial number on the back because there are those extension and grave things. But look right here. Oh, let me blow it up. This autograph is guaranteed by Panini American Incorporated. It looks light there. It could be the angle, could be glare, could be anything, right? There we go. Here's the same thing, Dominators, Mahomes. Look at how clear that looks. And it's, one, it's numbered out of 10, which I said I almost positive everyone would be. The autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. The font, to me, looks way different on this. And even if I back it off, you can tell the font kind of flows with what they're doing along with the ink and everything as well, too. So then the last check that I went out and did, on a cardboard connection, Patrick Mahomes, Dominator autograph set, out of 10. Thank you to who brought this up to my attention because now we have to be more careful and we're putting it out there, everybody out there, because there's no way this here is real. The autograph, at least. The card might be real, but now it's altered. Trying to get out of this thing. There we go. Thousand dollars for it. We're getting good with what we're doing out there with fakes. You're gonna have to be very careful what you buy. Mahomes Auto kind of looked a little weird to me too, but you know, just at a first glance onto it, then look on the back being a Panini sticker and all, I started really looking into it, and that's when it, it dawned on me. Like, are these things supposed to be serial numbered somewhere on here? And they are supposed to be. There's no one serial numbered ones out here. And if this would have been a buyback from, say, a product like... Oh, it's not hitting me where they do the buyback autos from now. It's an expense. Honors. Honors? Might have been. It was one of the two. I can't remember. That you're going to know. You will know because it's going to say whatever that product is on the back on top with the card itself. So be careful what you guys buy. Macari, you can get deals out there, but I'm telling you, there's more and more scams going on out there with fakes of everything that you just really, really have to be careful on to it. And I did look at the description. I have a rare 2020 Panini Donruss Optic O football dominators super holographic autograph card signed by da 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 card comes shipped in a it just makes it sound funny too with it super holographic and then if we go back one more I have a mega rare autograph 101 one of one again. Metal printing plate card used in the production and printing of this particular card. But da 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 da, da of uh, there's a card come. It doesn't doesn't really say that you know. Oh, I whatever it could be humanly possible autographed by Aaron Rodgers in person. Some of that whatever it could be. be careful what you guys are getting out there. This is where it starts getting tricky. Oh, it's just from Indiana, my bad. I don't know where I found New Albany earlier. But be careful what you're buying on the internet. We have everything going on with fakes out there. If you're unsure of something, you can join the... If you can't get me by email and you want need an answer like right then and there, you can go on to the Facebook group where I used to break at. Not the Monster Den, but the Extreme Car Breaks one. And post it on there. So people will look at it, and if they know the answer, they'll give it to you, at least till I get a chance to look at it. And if I'm unsure, 
I'm just going to ask other people anyhow. But there are some really getting, I guess you could say, getting better at trying to cover up this fake stuff by using laser etching on this stuff. This is not real. I, I'm 100% positive onto this. Um, if anybody else can pick out anything else they want to add to the video that they're seeing on this or any of the other autographs, please do. I just hit these two real quick onto it just to get the information out there, buddy. Again, thank you to the person that sent this to me by email. I do appreciate it. Good to get this information out to everybody. At the same time, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're doing all different types of videos. Very informational. We still do open some boxes time to time. Still do the monthly live auction. Next weekend, we're doing uh, going down to the Lexington show. Going to do some videotaping. Got to go pick up that uh, GoPro here very shortly. But other than that, everybody, take care. Have a good week. And I'll catch you in the next video.